Yesu FT nine nine one eight GPS. We got the open spot there. Working well. GPS. Hold down M. That's my live location there. Coming from the GPS antenna that I've attached to the 991. M0 FXB on channel. AC3 Charlie Zulu yeah it is a bit like that I'm uh, I'm always tinkering with uh, with different types of radios and uh, so it's ended up being uh, about literally about 10,000 videos of me just tinkering in the shack here and I'm not really teaching actually I'm just I'm more learning uh, how to use them and then I think oh hit the hit the record button uh, and uh, that that's what you're seeing so nice to meet you and uh, in the UK here, it's about 9.30 a.m. Over to you on a 991 and an open spot too. So we haven't hit the X button, but yeah, we could. Uh, I guess for kind of a like, I'm like, I'm more of a candidate gear stuff. So I'm always, uh, I've built a couple of um, duplex. MMDVM boards, and that's what I'm running off of now. Something that I built. I'm at my daughter's house watching her dog, actually. She's a traveling nurse. And then I got a 710 and a DX, FTDX10. Lovely. Tons of radios. Lovely sets. Like I said, every time I, and before I, we have a few. I order them, and before I get them, I look on YouTube and uh, see, see any information on them. And you seem like you're always doing the same thing. Close. <clears throat> yeah, Roger, I, I think uh, if to really enjoy this hobby, you've just got to get the radios you like. And the, the radios you've just listed are excellent, aren't they? I didn't hear an Icon one, though. Um, what have you got for your Icon range? I've been in the ham radio a couple times, years and years ago, and all the tube equipment. And then uh, the radio that I kept was an ICOM 751. GPS. That's at my house in my basement. And I have the 9700, a couple 7300s, the 705, um, a 5100, a 4100. Um, yeah, I have a ton of ICOMs. I just got the... I think another YouTube video I've seen of yours was the 52A when that came out. Um, so I have that. Yeah, I have um, Lovely all set. the lower end, I guess, radios. It's I like a ham radio shop. End stuff, you know, when it starts getting over a couple thousand up, of course, I usually stay in the, the low end of things. I'm not a contester, so that's all I need. Back to you. M0 FXB, yeah, and, and the 7300 is one of the best, isn't it? I've gradually got the the 7610, which took me, I rec I think I wanted it for about four years. And in the end, I, I, I got one. I took the plunge, spread the payments out over a year. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful radio. Yes, it's it, it's uh, it's like, you know, it's, it's in the UK, they're near £3,000. Uh, and the 761, sorry, the, Yes, the Yesu 101 I've got here, the, the 100 watt model, 
I swapped that for about three radios that I had. Um, and could, as, as you have, you know, we've got radios lying around. Someone told me they had one and I said, well, how about we do a swap? And Because I, I knew I wasn't using two or three radios. And he was here literally the next day in all box like new and we just swapped. So <clears throat> very nice. But I do miss the 710 and the 7300. Back to you. There's the 7100, and move my T out the way. Yeah, tons of radios. Something else 500. <laughs> we d so it is fun, but yeah. Yeah, I, I, what, I started recording items because I wanted to remember the settings, and I, I, I'd never edit. All my videos, are, they're not edited, they're live. If I make a mistake, if I drop something, if the dog barks, you're going to hear it. If my wife comes in and tells me off for being in the shack too long, you're going to hear it. Um, so, But I, one thing I do know is that when I had too many radios, my hobby got a lot better, and and... And, you know, I used to be very sensible. I had two or three radios and always careful with the money. And um, But the thing is, my, I found that my hobby got quite boring because once I was learning all the different settings, then it became great fun. It sounds like the, the setup you've got there, you could make some really interesting uh, videos. And I think you'd be surprised. Grab your phone, put record on, put it on a, in a stand and... Don't try and teach, literally just go, you know, just talk about what you're doing. I, I thought that To me, that's the most interesting video is someone just playing radio, doing what they do every day, but you're, you know, it's on camera and, and, and you'd be surprised how, 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 how people really enjoy that kind of content. But the, the new one I've done with the 991A, which you might find interesting, is I've added a GPS antenna to it and it's working live. But what I didn't realise was your your HT your H your um your FT one two three five will actually act as a GPS antenna for your your Yaesu nine nine one, and I didn't know that. And all you do is buy a cable called a CT one six nine that plugs in the back of the of the nine nine one A. So that's a very cool little function. Probably don't need to do it because we've got um, fixed location, but it's great fun. Back to you. So yeah, nice little chat there. I'm up for the for things that I'm going to be doing. I caught that on sale. I usually buy everything when it's on sale and I'm like, oh, I better get one. And I bought it for D-Star. But since then, I've got so many D-Star radios. I mean, that's not a problem. But I figured if I was going to get D-Star, I'd get the 7100 and mm -hmm. everything else to go with. And that's 7 D74. My, my radio, I think that I want to buy, and I should have bought it last year when it was down to uh, $2,800. It's the Yaesu FTVX 101D. I, I won't get the 200 watt model. I don't have much interest in that. But, uh, that's we have that. Buy a 101. Beautiful radio. Not on at the moment. Yes, and well, it's a it's a fantastic, beautiful radio, and it's quite big. It's bigger than the seven six one zero. Usability wise, I prefer the seven six one zero, but if you want a radio that, as soon as you look at it, you go, "Wow, that's the one hundred one." Yeah, the one I've got is the one hundred. The thing with the seven six one zero is you're so familiar with the seven three hundred interface. Uh, that as soon as you turn it on, you know how to use it. And that's the thing about the the 7610. And the screen is, I don't know, it's just sharp and beautiful. Although the 101 has a very, very nice screen, 
it is it, it the the seven six one oh just just beats it slightly so my answer was to just to have them both so yeah <laughs> lucky me but um okay well nice to meet you i better stand by leave uh america link there but really thanks so much for calling me uh, back to you for a final and, and then we'll stand by m0 fxb ham tech Okay, it's time for breakfast here because I don't even know that it's five o'clock in the morning. So <laughs> I'm going to get some breakfast. Nice talking to you, and uh, keep You're up the work, I guess. And I'll keep buying radios and watching. Uh, two of the latest radios I got. I don't know. I got this thing. I got a radio ID QT60 and a QT40, and you know, way down. Flashing away. I have CBs. I don't think it's for me. Anyway, I'm rattling on. AC3, CBs. CC, clear and um, bye bye. A little bit off frequency there, look. Yeah, you take care. Oh, my have now got shift. Let me just sort that out. 7 3. Bye for now.